Welcome back to another Wreath Productions time-lapse video. Today we are doing the Imperium Universalis mod in EU4, which takes us back to the fall of Nineveh as depicted behind me right here. This conflict between the Assyrians and the Babylonians eventually led to the decline of Assyrian power in the Middle East in the rise of the Neo-Babylonian Empire. While this empire would be short-lived, eventually falling within about a hundred years to what we would know now as the Persian Empire, the Neo-Babylonian Empire was the last of the great Mesopotamian Babylonian empires. We find ourselves here in 145 Ab Urbe Condita, or from the founding of the city. As we can see, the Roman city does exist in this time period, although Europe is largely tribal. The larger nations are going to be here in the Middle East with Assyria, Babylon, Media, Parthia, and others. India also tends to be in more of a broken up tribal atmosphere. And China is largely uncolonized. It does have the larger coastal territories um, in the northern, you know, strongholds, but that southern China is ripe for growth and colonization. And if you're still here watching after this intro, do make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I hope you enjoy this time lapse, and I'll see you on the other side.
Now, I absolutely loved watching this time lapse, and I hope that you did too. There's a couple things in particular that I personally really enjoyed about it. First up, I absolutely love that in this timeline, Alexander the Great still existed and still decided to try to conquer Asia with his Macedonian armies, but this time he looked at the Persians and said, nope, I ain't doing that, and just decided to go north. <laughs> I absolutely love the Macedonia that we got out of this time lapse. I also just really like this Neapolis and the fact that they took most of the Italian peninsula and then said, yeah, you know what, France looks pretty good, let's go grab that too. And finally, I was actually going to let this time lapse run longer, but actually 1128 is the end date in the game, so I just decided to end the time lapse there at about a thousand years, rather than, you know, just spectate continuing and let it go farther. And there's one part where I kind of wish that we did, and it's with this... Chi Chin kingdoms that we've got going on here in China. I would have loved to have seen which one came out of this romance of the two kingdoms between Chi and Chin. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're still here, please make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out. And leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see a different start date in this mod. Let me know if there's a mod that you guys would like to see me do a time lapse in. There will be a link for this mod in the description down below. I truly do recommend. Check it out. It's a really, really well done mod. As well as in the description below, there are links to my Discord, Patreon, and Twitch accounts. Feel free to go check those out, and I'll see you guys in the next time lapse. Wreath out.